Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Like, sis be looking hella, hella clockish right now. So, I had a wig on and I took it off. So, I decided I'm gonna take the braids down. But I didn't want to wash my hair. So, I'm like, let me do a ponytail. I was worried that I wouldn't get this ponytail because my hair was like really dirty and dry. But sis, I figured it out. You know, I already... I'm the queen of finessing and shit so this is what this tutorial is about I'm gonna do this a sleek ass ponytail on my dirty hair After finally getting the braids out and detangling my hair guys, I went in with some Kaleidoscope products. I'm gonna go in with the Kaleidoscope Leave-In Detangler and it's called the Milkshake. It smells really good and it really softened my hair and my hair was really dry. This is my first time using it and guys, I got selected well i got added to kaleidoscope's pr list and i'm really excited about that that's like a really big deal for me so they sent me all these products to try out and i'm really feeling the detangler when i put it in my hair it really made it soft and it detangled my hair and even though my hair was really dry it worked just the same and i used a whole bunch of it and it really moisturized my hair and it was easier to like comb out and stuff Afterwards, I'm gonna go in with the Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. Like, you should know this. This bottle is really popular over the internet. And this is my first time using it. It smells really good. It smells like minty almost. And when you put it on your hair, you get this tingling sensations. And I'm thinking it's the, ingre the ingredients. Like, it's supposed to really, like, activate your scalp and let your hair grow. So, I'm gonna let you guys know like in a future video if it helps anything on my edges or anything like that and you all know my edges came out the last time with the freaking protective style that I did when I did those locks I think my edges came out so I'm really glad to get this product so let's see if it will make my edges like come all the way back in and to start off this ponytail I parted a section of my hair in the back and I detangled it and I'm gonna go in with beeswax you know I've been using beeswax as of late regular plain old beeswax and it's been really giving me a sleek look and I'm just parting my hair and getting the product in between my hair and combing through and detangling because the key to a sleek ponytail is really smoothing it make sure you get all that product in between each part and smoothing it with your hands and a brush as long as the hair isn't like tangled you can definitely achieve a sleek look and you have to do the hair in sections and as you see I'm getting the first section done. Guys, this style would have been better if I did it on clean, you know, freshly washed hair that's moisturized or whatever. But guys, I'm just showing you that you could still do a ponytail and it could still look sleek without even washing your hair. Like you can do like their old hair and still get a sleek ass style. And I, I had somewhere to be, so I was just trying to finesse this whole thing and as you know how I do my low ponytails I part my hair like section by section and I detangle I add the product and you see I'm adding the beeswax and then I'm going to just add that section into the first section and when you're making a sleek ponytail it's good if you do it in sections and like leave the um the hair tie in that section and like not bother to like pull the section that you've done out and just move on to the section so which each section you want to add a hair tie this might be like a headache for some people but for me it worked out fine so after I remove the hair tie from the first section and I added it back you see all 
my two sections in the back oh my god I'm getting confused but my two sections in the back I combined that in one and that hair tie is not gonna come out when I add my other sections I'm just gonna use a new hair tie just to keep it in place and for the rest of the hair you're literally just gonna go through part your little sections out detangle add your product in between your hair smooth use your brush and guys the black brush that i'm using i don't know the name of this but it, it's from careco brushes and i'll leave their information in the description bar you can get brushes from them and all my brushes that i use i have gotten from them and i like the brushes that have like the little teeth like the little combs or whatever you want to call them like when you use that it goes through your hair and it really detangles it so as you see guys i'm just literally going in with the product and i'm going to repeat the same steps throughout the entire video so just keep watching as until we get to the top and I'll explain what I'm doing at the top And for the top section, it was really dry, so I had to add more of the detangling um, spray in it. And I'm just combing that out, combing that out. And I'm going to go in now after I comb my edges out with another Kaleidoscope product. And I'm going to go in with their Edge. What What is it called? I'm going to tell you the name. But I'm going to go in with their Edge Control, and you'll see... there we go their miracle edges it's the kaleidoscope miracle edges and that's their edge control and guys i was trying to smell it and i'm like let me act like i'm tasting it and it literally went in my mouth but anyways i'm just going in and i'm just smoothing that on my hair parting the sections you know how i be doing my hair if you watch my videos you'll definitely know my techniques i go in my technique i mean i go in between the hair and i just add that edge control and smooth and i brush that down and smoothing and, and detangling and literally smoothing again will have your hair really laid and for thick 4c hair guys i will always say this like do it in sections go in between the hair don't just put the product like on top it will not be sleek it will not stay and as you can see it's holding it down nicely and i'm just gonna continue doing this going in between my hair and get the sections together and I'm gonna test out this edge control on my edges and guys let me tell you how I was pleasantly surprised I did not expect it to like hold my edges at all it is more of a medium hold I would say it's not like a extreme hold it held my edges down like really nicely but throughout the day it you know it lifted a bit so it's not like a hard hold it's more like of a medium hold but when I just did my hair, guys, this shit was fire. Like, look at that. Like, ooh. I really loved how it made my edges look. But it's not like a hard hold where you, you're going to have, like, trouble washing it out or getting it off. It's more of a medium hold. But I did not expect that. Like, look at my edges. I didn't expect it to hold it down at all. So that really surprised me. And then, guys, I just continued doing the same thing on the other side until I got all my edges together and so I finally got the ponytail like all together I literally just kept on adding the edge control and I added the beeswax the rest of my hair until I smoothed it down but guys as I said before for the ultimate sleek 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 ponytail it's good to do it on freshly washed hair that's clean and that's moisturized and not like how I did it but trust me this still worked because my hair was sleeked and you see that puff remember
Okay guys, for the ponytail, we'll be using the Shake and Go ponytail. It's Shake and Go Organique Pony Pro and it's an easy wraparound ponytail. It's a natural yaki and it's 32 inches. Like this is inches, bitch. Like inches. And I really like the texture. The texture matches well with my 4C hair. And this ponytail is fairly new. The company had reached out to me and they sent me a few of these ponytails to try out. This is a new ponytail that they have. Like it comes with a ponytail and the wrap to go around it like easily. Like I really like this ponytail as I was pleasantly surprised by how full it looked and by how natural the texture looked. This isn't a human hair ponytail. It is a mixed fiber but it looks pretty good and it says it's safe curling iron safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit I will not be curling mine I never put heat on my synthetic hair but that's what it looks like and I really like this ponytail to be honest like I really like it the trick is though when you're applying this ponytail you're to use pins to secure it but instead of adding the pins at the end guys be sure to add the pins as you wrap it so then it'll be secure and it won't move And look at that, like my hair is really sleek and laid after taking my head tie off and we're ready to apply our ponytail. Guys, I would definitely recommend this ponytail. I'm not sure how much it retails for but I'll find out because they just launched these like a few weeks ago maybe two weeks ago so i'm not sure how much it retails for but it shouldn't be very expensive and i think it can really like bring up any look you could easily just put your hair in a ponytail and put this on and you are transformed from like basic to like pop in like it's a really fire ass ponytail and as i was saying guys about the wrapping of it I wrapped everything and then I put the the, the um the hairpin to hold it in and it just came right off. So that is a no. What I think you should do as soon as you apply the first part, put a hairpin and as you go around the sections, keep adding earpins. Keep adding hairpins. Oh my god, I can't talk. Keep adding hairpins so it'll hold the ponytail onto your own hair. And guys it took me three tries to figure this out but once you add your pon once you add your curling pins or your hair pins to the sections as you go around you'll be fine the ponytail will stay it will not move anywhere this is the longest ponytail i've ever had and i really liked it like when i wore this outside I, everybody was like "Ooh, i like your hair like i got so much attention with this ponytail and it's really cute for like the summer if you don't want to have like inches in terms of like a full ass head of bundles down to your butt you could just do this ponytail then you still have inches but you won't be like hot it's like really cool and it's so quick and easy guys like it's so quick and easy you don't need to be able to do hair to do this ponytail that's what i like about it the most you're not making it it's already made for you and that's what i like the most about this ponytail i would definitely recommend it let me know if you would wear this ponytail or if you're thinking of getting it. And let me know if you like this style because I really liked it. I think it was so cute, sis, and I was feeling it and I had my inches. Like, look at that. It came all the way down to my hip and in the back, it was touching my bum. Like, I really like this ponytail and I think this style is super cute and I'll definitely be wearing it again. So let me know down below your thoughts on this video and leave me a like, leave me a comment and I'll definitely, definitely catch you guys in my next one. I love you guys so much. Bye.